You know, I never realized until just the last couple of years just how ignorant people are as to how facts and evidence really works. Uh, once I started doing this kind of content and I had people start reaching out to me wanting to debate me and wanting to send me proof and evidence for what it was they were claiming to be true, I've always said, okay, fine, show me your proof, show me your evidence. And they will send me articles, they'll send me links, they'll send me videos to things. And when they do, I will read every word of the article. And I will watch every minute of the video and then I will come back at them and say, okay, cool story, bro, but where's your proof? Where's your evidence? Well, there it was. Well, no, that's, that's not evidence. I saw a bunch of claims. I saw a whole bunch of people making a whole bunch of claims about things, but they had no evidence in front of me to show me, to actually prove what it was they were saying. Well, yeah, but didn't you see that guy over there? He testified to it, man. That guy over there, he said he saw it. Well, okay, cool. Yeah, you can have witnesses in, a, in something, but the witnesses have to back that up with evidence. You have, there's a much broader picture here. I could make the claim that I saw a red fox riding on a purple dragon. That doesn't mean it's true. I would have to provide evidence and show you red fox riding on a purple dragon. You know, I would have to show you that proof. You know, I could get 10 people to stand up and agree with me and say, yeah, we saw red fox on the purple dragon too. I could get somebody to testify under oath to it. I could get somebody to make an entire documentary about it. But until I was able to provide actual evidence, I got nothing. And it's amazing to me how people will point to things and they'll show you things like that it changes something. You know, people will say, well, okay, you know, I mean, yeah, it was bad what happened on January 6th, but hey, the BLM, look what happened during the protests of 2020. Okay, well, if I commit murder, and then I try to get on the witness stand and say, well, you know, there was a guy that did it the day before I did. That's not defense. That, that's, not, that's not a defense of me. It's amazing to me how that people don't understand how facts and evidence works, how they don't understand how defenses work, how they don't even realize how to really make an argument. And they don't realize how to make an argument because Donald Trump ushered in people that didn't know how. And I've said that a million times, but it's worth repeating. Donald Trump ushered people into the conversation that don't know how it works. And they think that just because they saw it on the internet, just because they saw it on TV, just because some dude they worked with sent them a link to something, or just because somebody sat down with Joe Rogan and Joe Rogan went, wow, wow, Jamie, pull that up. Yeah, look, it, it doesn't, it, that shit ain't proof. I'm sorry. I, I know you really want to be right. But you, you got to show me. You got to show me. Look, I'm going to show you something here. Look here. This here's an ink pen, okay? I got this ink pen from an Econolodge. I always take my ink pens with me because I'm a songwriter. So there it is. I have an ink pen, okay? I can prove it. It's an ink pen. Check it out. Got a notepad here. Ink is in this pen. Watch this. See there? There's ink in that pen. Now, if, if I sit here and I say to you, I, I know a way to write on a piece of paper by God. You don't have to have an ink pen. I know how to write and not have no ink pen. Okay, show me. Well, buddy, I got a guy testified to it. He said he's seen it done. Okay, well, until he can go, it don't mean shit.